Hey guys, it is very clear to me that Wizard of the Coast does not really know what it is doing. So, remember we had Oko, Once Upon a Time, what was the other one? Summer Autumn's Veil, vale, something like that. And they were all banned. And then Oko was banned in Modern. And then he was banned in Pioneer. Well, was he banned in Legacy? I don't know. I didn't even realize Legacy was still format until this announcement came out. What if there was another, like just two sets later? So Pharaoh's Beyond Death is very weak. So nothing in it deserves to be banned because it sucks. I've said that for a million times. Like, Oko was very good. It didn't take a genius to figure out within the first week. Maybe you didn't, I didn't catch Oko in the very beginning. But then, like, you saw, oh, how flexible he was. And then you're like, oh, wait a second. I'm spending more time turning my opponent's creatures into elks than my own creature or my own permanents. So we have Garuda, which was spelled Garuda. Which they didn't even take the time to spell it correctly. And it was banned in just Legacy. And then finally it was banned in every format. Which makes sense because the card that it didn't that had issues interacting with it was Leyline of the Void. Which, if you remember, is a card that was recently reprinted and therefore playable in Modern and Pioneer. Even in Pioneer. So people were abusing Magic Online as usual. Uh, the developers did a poor job as usual. And when you talk about the quality assurance, there is none. Like, why are we banning so many cards all the time? It doesn't make any sense. Did no one play with these cards? Like, the only scenario I could see where you would ban... Like, Oko was really bad. Hawk was really bad, Right? That that was a really bad. That card had to be banned from what was it? Masters, Modern Horizons. Now, what was even worse than that was Urza, which was not banned. They took out the Opal, but I guarantee you, Urza will be banned eventually soon, anyway, because Urza was the problem. Mox Opal had existed for many, many, many years, probably a decade plus, without. I mean, it was broken, but not that broken that it needed to be banned. And then Urza came along, and yes, it got too good. But Urza is a problem. So essentially, they're making cards that they know that they will have to ban. And man, I mean, it's just... It doesn't really make too much sense to me. Uh, kind of what's like happening right now in Magic the Gathering. Because I feel like... The artwork, you know, we have the Pokemon Land, so getting worse. The Collector's Edition, so the, A, everything's getting more expensive. The standard box expected value is going down. There's like no arrow. So if we imagine this as a stock, there's no arrows pointing up. So quality control has been really, really poor. Not just on Magic Online, I'm just talking about cards. I think the companion me mechanic is absolutely broken with Lion's High Diamond. Because, uh, yeah, that happens, right? Where you can just play whatever you wanted. Play one of the companions. Empty. Your hand doesn't really matter at that point. I, I don't see the companions as particularly good for Legacy. Uh, or I don't even know if the companions will be good for Modern or Pioneer. They just change so much in the game. that I'm sure that they're fun in Standard. I'm, I'm positive they're going to be a lot of fun in Standard. I've already seen them in MTG Arena playing against them, and they seem, you know, people who like it will like it. I, I don't particularly enjoy them, but I think they people like it. What will happen, though, will be something pretty interesting uh, to card prices, on, you know, in Legacy. Because it's like what Oko did. Oko came in, and they dominated every single format. So you either played Oko or you didn't. And that was the two decks. The decks were 90% Oko, 10% Anti-Oko. Now, on top of this, you just have so many mistakes being made in such a short window that you really do have to question, like, what is going on with the testing? 
that you just had to make once upon a time in the very same set was also a mistake. Right? And then then you had the the modern horizons, which is supposed to be for just modern, so the power level could be much higher. You made a mistake there. I would guess that Urza will be banned very soon. Or well, I don't know. Like maybe this is a new deck now. <laughs> the companions are a new deck to play. It just really seems to me that no one had taken the time to play test the companions to the amount they needed to be play tested to. And it doesn't Okay, so let's say that the card prices are going up, our expected value is going down. That's not good. So things are more expensive, but what we get in our quote mystery packs or collector's packs is much less than the expected or the, what we paid for. They're printing way too much in my opinion. We secret layer this, secret layer that, and these secret layers they are print, printing that people actually want, like the fetch lands, are being price gourds to oblivion. And then our basic lands have been replaced by Pokemon lands and which again doesn't cost very much money because it's the same artwork basically it's a very digital artwork and then the godzilla lands which should normally be in a set i would argue if you look at contra tarkir look at dragons of tarkir there's many many examples where you have a you have a situation where yes they should just be in the set but they're six dollars a piece are you paid thirty dollars for five of them on a secret layer. It's ludicrous, and now the quality of the artwork, in my opinion, has definitely suffered. The quality of the playtesting, if there is any to begin with, has gone down a ton. Do you realize that before Oko and Hoak, um, in standard, we have not really seen that many bands? Because the cards were playtested and they were balanced. I, I don't know how they didn't see Oko. JC Mindscope, there's a one that comes in mind where you saw it and you just kind of knew. You just kind of knew that this was. So Field of the Dead, I forgot about that one. Field of the Dead, Oko, Thief of Crowns, Once Upon a Time, Veil of Summer. Yeah, look, look, where did all this money go? Like for the secret layers and the direct to consumer or my worst, the war product I hate most of all, and I really do hate this product, was the mythic, the mythic collector's edition where you got a fake letter binder. It wasn't even real letter. They couldn't even afford to make a real letter binder. And then you got a nine by nine class portrait of Garouk. And then you got uh, 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 nine cards, right? Free cards by free cards. Portfolio, you know, uncut sheet. My gosh, that sounded dumb. Like, just holy blank, that was dumb. So I totally forgot about Field of the Dead. Yeah, that card was banned. Next is a Fate. Yeah, I forgot about that one, too. So, we are dealing with a situation that has, I don't know, where, where did the money go? The, aren't they making more money than ever from the secret lairs and the Amazons and, you know, why are they acting and behaving this way? Why are cards more expensive than ever? The quality has gone down. I mean, cards get the foils, for goodness sake. You know the price of a normal foil versus a non-foil is almost identical? <laughs> and honestly, at some point in time, they might be exactly the same. Because at least with the non-foil, you know that it won't wrap itself all up, right? How is this possible? Um, I don't know. I think like Oko should have been like a red flag. That, hey, we should be more careful. And then they created a whole mechanism that 
I don't know if the companion mechanism is safe for magic. Now, of course, I like it because it reminds me a lot of Vanguard. Many of you don't realize this, but we had a format exactly like this called Vanguard. Where we would have our Vanguard, which is an oversized card. I never knew why it had to be bigger than a regular magic card. And we, I used to play that in elementary school all the time. Because it added a very interesting component to it. Your Vanguard was basically your Planeswalker at the time. That, that's where they got their idea. They don't, they're not very creative people at Wizard of the Coast. They just steal like ideas from other older things. And I don't think they've come up with a creative idea. And that's probably what... Some pe somebody needs to be fired. Yeah, Magic Online is comically embarrassing. What about Vintage Challenge? What about it, Luis? <laughs> you think it's going to happen? <laughs> no. So, no one tested the card. No one tested Magic Online. No one is testing anything. So where is the money going? Where is the money going, Wizard of the Coast, with all your secret lairs? And all your Amazon and direct-to-consumer products. Who knows? Hi, guys.